Hello, it's that college football guy here. Another video. Well, took the old jacket off since I'm being here for a little bit while they unload me. You might hear me like shaking like this a little bit. That's because they're unloading the truck. But I figured I'd get this one in while I can. So, now I review for the one, one game we have today. And that's, uh, but first and foremost, we get everything off the bat. First, everybody, please hit the thumbs up on the video. It helps the analytics, helps the video to be seen by more people on YouTube. Comment on the video, love interacting with everybody, and subscribe to the channel. Just crossed 200 subscribers. Let's see if we can get to 300. The one game that we have, 6-4 and four SMU at 8-2 and two Tulane. Tulane, of course, ranked based in the AP polls, one ranking, the college football playoffs, another ranking. SMU comes in off of three, is coming in th having won three straight. U Tulane's coming off that loss to UCF. SMU, well, they're... 7th in passing offense and 59th in the rushing offense. They're ninth in scoring overall, 40.3 points per game. But they're 117th in scoring defense, 32.6. So that's a little under 8 on the positive. I mean, the great pass off, but their scoring defense is horrible. Tulane is 57th in passing. They are 49th in rushing, which is kind of a balanced attack. They are 37th in scoring at 32.7 points per game. That's decent. But they're 17th in scoring defense at allowing 19 points per game. They're one of the better scoring defense in the, defenses in the country. So Tulane is a three-point home favorite, which means this is basically a pick which means that the, the, the betters, the Sharks, they can go either way. Um... I've been looking at this going like, which is the offense here? I mean, you have the rush defense. I didn't put down the rushing defense and the pass defense, but it's strength on strength again. Whoever's going to, who's going to give up first on defensively is going to get this. You have a middle of the road pass defense against the ninth best, the seventh best passing offense in the country. But they don't allow teams to score. And that's the point of this. You may get all the yards you want, but if you only get field goals, it doesn't matter, does it? So... All the things going on here. I'm gonna pick Tulane. I gotta pick another you know, three point favorite. It can go. It wouldn't surprise me if SMU won at all. It would not surprise me. Uh, SMU's already got their. They're already bowl eligible. Tulane's trying to get to ten wins if it's possible, which for a, which is a big win. But we'll see what happens. And they're the thing is with Tulane, this could technically be a trap game, in a sense. Why? They're playing Cincinnati next week. Could they look forward and look past SMU? Just something to think about. But I think Tulane's going to stay focused, and I think Tulane is going to beat SMU, cover that three points. So let me know down in the comments what you think. You think I'm right, think I'm wrong? Tell me what you think down in the comments. So snow stopped here. Stopped snowing, but uh, it's still a wonderful 31 degrees. <laughs> so thanks, everybody, for watching the video. As I said before, like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hopefully everybody's being safe out there and please be good to each other.